think somebody's out there. What, you mean like help? Help me, please! No, no. So that little weasel picked a bunch of department stores to spread his little Black Friday surprise, and everyone knows Abel's. It might even be Amherst Ground Zero. We need to find an original, unmutated strain of the virus to compare with the mutations our patients have. And the only place to find them is on the original bills tainted with the original virus. Which means we need you to head over to Abel's and bring back any tainted bills you can find. you did. Crazy fucks. What the hell's she doing here? Hey, you got any money? Huh? What kind of watch is that? You don't need to do this. Just let me go and no one has to hey, die. Hey, no, you got to walk away. Ah, It'll be our pleasure. Get this over with. Okay, Agent, you're looking for any bills our pal Amherst used to spread his original virus strain. We know he used Abel's as one of his primary launching pads, so with any luck, there should be plenty of contaminated greenbacks lying around in there. As well as civilians. The store is one of the bigger refugee camps we've been monitoring. Not to make a whole thing out of it, but if you don't find some unmutated virus I can use as a comp, we may as well give up any hope of creating a vaccine. So, you know, no pressure. Or make this product.
Warning. Temperature rising. Elevated levels of carbon dioxide detected. Uh-oh. Sounds like there's a fire in the building. I'll start feeding Isaac the structural blueprints in case you need them. Calculating route to emergency fire suppression system controls. Fire suppression system activated. System obstructed on upper floors. Manual override required. Great. You keep going. I'll keep digging through these schematics and tell Isaac where the overrides are. Remember, Agent, you need to collect any bills you can find with the original virus strain. Check everything. Cash registers, charity donation stations, tip jars in the cafe. Any place you can think of that might involve cash. Object test negative for viral contamination. What a nightmare. Let's go before those whack jobs find us. Object test negative for viral contamination. Readings indicate an echo nearby. My wife said tanzanite. Is that something you carry? Oh my god, tell me you don't love this watch. I dare you. I'm so sorry. My credit card is on the fruits.
Object test negative for viral contamination. Let's hope the cleaners haven't torched everything in the place before you locate those bills. Even if they haven't, extreme heat destroys DNA. Over 200 degrees Fahrenheit, the covalent bonds break down, and the double helix starts unzipping like a cheap prom dress. One more reason to keep them at bay, Agent. Like I said, no pressure. Object test negative for viral contamination. Object test negative for viral contamination. According to the schematics, there should be an emergency override up ahead. Contagion detected. Bingo. That's got to be our virus infected bills somewhere nearby. Keep an eye out, but just don't lick them. Warning. Fire has been detected. I found another manual override for the fire suppression system. Sending Isaac the location now.
need a dead horse, Agent, but I need those bills. Intact. And room temperature, no crispy edges. Crispy means heat, means off comes the prom dress. And try not to get yourself killed in the process. Crispy agents aren't much use to us either. Warning. You are now entering a contaminated area. Morning. Viral contamination confirmed. Keep your eyes peeled, Agent. We just got a report from JTF observers outside the building. More cleaners arrived while you were busy upstairs. Give them a wide berth. I know I've said this before, but I need those bills in mint condition, so to speak. Leaving contaminated area. approaching.
Alert. Hostiles approaching. Agent. Locating undamaged bills with original strain virus in that place was like looking for needles in a haystack. But damned if you didn't pull it off. I can't wait to get my hands on them. Oh, and Agent? I'm buying the next round. Assuming there ever is one. The Dark Zone's walled off, and with good reason. It's where the infection hit hardest, to the point where no one, not us, not LMB, not anyone, could hold it. Now it's a no-man's land, full of people willing to take their chances with the virus to get away from the factions in the streets. And what happens behind those walls? Well, very little of it is good. I'm sorry, which paper are you from? Thank you, Agent. I'm from that the strange sample man. you secured told There's us a lot. Been rumors that the I prepared a report for the and the Have a look. Some people say it's the blast zone of an experimental bioweapon. available for playback Someone nearby. Someone get this guy out of here. Samples of the original green poison pathogen. The ones we recovered off the currency used as a primary transmission vector let us take a closer look at the virus's basic genome. What I found was clear evidence the bug had been manufactured. There's genetic material there from a half dozen other pathogens bolted onto smallpox to make a more efficient killing machine.
something ain't right. The billboards, they keep going out. Observing the southern... a safe area. How the hell are you? You're an inspiration to us all. Can't talk right now. Keep up the good work. This is great. With this stuff installed, we can really take care of business. You done good, kid. Line up for rations in an orderly manner. Pushing and shoving will not be tolerated. Civilian yeah, rations again. are strictly controlled at this time. just made my tinker heart real happy. Designated area for repairing, repurposing, and refurbishing gear and weapons. You can go crazy in there, Agent. Oh, man, you got away. How's it going? I didn't think I was gonna make it. Hold up. I, I thought they were gonna help us. They, they looked like people who had a job to do, so nobody ran. We got closer, but then... It's horrible. It's absolutely horrible. Burning people alive. Who does that? Why? Looks perfect. I can't thank you enough. But I will bring you something from my wine rack. Hey there, I... Give me a second. Yes? I'm sorry, Dr. Kendall, but the sample's not producing results that... Did you run them at room temperature? You said... I said room goddamn temperature. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we're within temperature variances. You know what? I'll do it myself. Just put it down and we'll both pretend this never happened. Hard to believe you can't find good help in the middle of a pandemic, right? 
Anyway, the good news is we are up and running on what you've brought in so far. Dr. Ellis taking over the hospital wing was a lifesaver. Now I can focus on research. My wife always says I'm better with pathogens than with people. My ex-wife. Funny. Anyways, you just keep doing what you're doing. We are halfway to a blueprint for a vaccine, and with your help, we will get the rest.